Hey guys, welcome back. Tia here from Nailed It Hawaii. Soap is something that I have made before, not on the channel, but I did change up the colors I used and I changed up the fragrance oils. So it's kind of like a brand new soap. Symphony Succulents is a soap that has like different colored succulents up on top and then there's a little bit of piping in it. When I made it before, I did I made the succulents a combination of like greens and purples. This time I wanted to do something a little more like delicate and feminine looking. So the colors that I chose was kind of like a blush pink, kind of like a real nice, you know, girly-ish color. And then I also did a light green and I felt like that color scheme would go well and kind of be like a, a natural take on spring. Does spring even affect succulents? I don't think so. Truth be told, I really don't know much about succulents. Anything that I try to grow dies, so my plant knowledge is a little lacking. Anyway, this soap is topped with cold processed soap embeds and it's kind of fun, like they're scattered and I didn't really particularly want all of the soaps to look the same. So there is definitely a variety there, like some will have... Yeah, but just, let's just jump in and then you can see what I mean. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be making a succulent soap. So I have all of my oils here. I'm going to go ahead and add in my kale and clay and colloidal oatmeal. And then I'm going to add in my lye water, which is right here. I have already mixed in a little bit of titanium dioxide to get a nice white color. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix all that in and then I will bring you guys back. Okay, so with everything mixed in, I'm going to separate my batter off for different colors. I'm soaping a little warmer than normal um, because, as you guys know, I do use natural light and the sun is finally up. So we're in the middle of a storm and the sun's up, so I figured I might as well take advantage of it while I can. Okay, so this color is just going to stay and I'm just going to be working with these ones now. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of pink here. I kind of want like a light blush color, so I'm hoping that this will get me that. So next, I have, I'll put a little more in here. I have this like minty green, and then I have a slightly more vibrant green. I'm gonna put it into this one. Because I'm soaping at higher temperatures, it is setting up a little quicker, and that's totally fine. That will work out well for me. So I just want to make sure these two greens are different colors. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one here that I'm mixing now is definitely a little bit more of a richer green, whereas the other is a little more pale. Alrighty, so all my colors are ready, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the fragrance oil. This one is a custom blend that I just made. It has a little bit of like mango, some fruity notes. It has some lychee and cantaloupe and just a little bit of lily. So it's not really like a very strong floral. Just a little bit to kind of anchor the scent. So I'm just going to go ahead and hand mix this in first. And then I'm going to hit it with my stick blender just to make sure everything's mixed in well. Okay, so everything's been mixed. So now I'm going to start working on the pour. So here's my white base. I'm going to take my pink first. Just pour some of that into that corner and take this green and pour it in this back corner here. And a little bit of this lighter green in the other corners. And pouring in the rest of this. I'm not going to reserve any of this pink for the top so all of that can go in now. Okay, so everything's in. I'm not going to do any mixing or anything, and I'm just going to go straight to pouring. Alrighty, so here's the side that I poured the pink in, so I'm going to go ahead and start pouring from this side here. This is my new um, double tall and skinny mold from Workshop Heritage. Everything's thickening up pretty nicely. I'm going to remove my clips. And now I'm going to scrape up my container, trying to not model anything as much as possible. Okay, everything has been pounded down, so I'm just going to take my spatula and kind of bounce things around and try to even out the top a little bit. I'm going to be adding little embeds to the top, so 
doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's all going to be covered. I just want to flatten it out a bit. Make sure all the corners get some. Okay, and now I have some succulent embeds. These are made with cold process soap. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking these on randomly. I have made this soap before. Kind of. It's not something that I had available in my shop. It's something that I did have available for some polish pickup customers. And I figured there's a lot of people that would appreciate getting another chance at getting it because it did sell out really quickly. Trying to mix up the colors a little bit. So now you can kind of see why I was going for like a blushy pink on the inside and like a minty green so it could match these. Kind of putting these anywhere that they'll fit. Okay, now I have some smaller sizes that I'm just going to start plugging in. Making sure every bar gets at least part of a succulent. Trying to make things look randomly placed is actually a lot harder than you would think. Surprisingly. Okay, so I did reserve some of the green off to the side and for this I'm using, I got the, the, a bunch of new tips um, from Macy's. After Christmas there was like a sale and there was an entire piping set that was on sale. I think it was like $6 or something. Before I start piping, I'm just going to go ahead and spray it with rubbing alcohol real quick. And so I'm just going to start kind of just trying to fill in all of the empty spots. Okay, this piping definitely isn't set up enough for the tip to really show, but that's not a super big deal to me. I kind of just want it all colored in to kind of look like grass or something. So pretty much anywhere that has a little bit of exposed white is what I'm trying to cover. The edges are always a little bit tricky to make sure that that gets covered up. But if there's an area that's a little too thin for my um, tip to get, like in between these two here, I'm actually going to go ahead and cover that with the next round of piping. But yeah, I have made this soap before in this design. It was a different scent so many people seem to really like it plus you know it's just fun to make so i was thinking this would be perfect to remake and then launch in april because you know april spring is supposed to be coming i say supposed to be because i don't know hawaii kind of has a mind of its own and we don't really have like set seasons it's either always rainy or always hot. Okay, and the next color I have is a little darker. Um, I know it looks really sagey right now, but that's just the nature of this color. And this is the Green Vibrance Mica from Nurture Soap. And when it's in the soap, it kind of looks like a little like murky, sewer greeny, but as it sets up, it will definitely, the color blooms a lot more. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some leaves with this tip anywhere that's missing a little bit of piping just to give it a little bit of interest and change it up a bit okay i'm gonna turn this around so that i can get the other side comfortably and not have it be as awkward for me to pipe i think i've got most of it so now i'm kind of just going in and filling in any empty spots that might need a little bit of extra because I've got extra piping, so why not? Okay, and that's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with a little more rubbing alcohol. And then I'm now taking my mica sprayer from Nurture Soap, and I can never remember what mica is in here, like ever, but it has like a nice little gold sheen. It's a white powder pigment, but it has nice gold sheen, which I think just really brings anything with like these kinds of fine details, really brings it to life. So I like to just spray on a little bit. I'm just gonna let this go ahead and sit and we will be back in 24 to 48 hours to cut it up. Here's a little up close look at it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a little bit of a gold sheen on everything, which I think looks fabulous, but yeah. I will see you guys back for the cut. Okay, hello, hello. We are back to cut the succulent soap. Let me just show you how it looks. Let's get this centered a little bit here. Now I'm gonna push down. Bing. Take off my two end pieces here. And 
there we go. The lighting isn't super good right now because it's a little overcast. Here's one, see the green over here, the green flower. Got a little pink one on this one. Got a nice big one here. Really like how the inside looks. That was a cool swirl, something different that I don't do very often. I'm loving the this like rose pink looking succulent. It's pretty. And the inside. So far so good. All of the bars do definitely have a little piece of succulent. This one has three different ones on this, so that's nice. The little leaves that we piped. And as you can see, the it would look to kind of like a sagey green yesterday. This uh the leaves and it definitely came more back to life now, thank goodness. This is such a fun swirl. I really like it. I am living for this color palette. Like, I really like it. I like that the um, background color is, it's kind of, it's not like a stark white. It's more like a cream, which, uh, yeah, I feel like I need to do that more. And then with this like nice blushy rose pink, no, rose pink isn't the right word, I don't think. And this green, I really, really love these colors together, like, a lot. This one here has one, two, and three pieces of different flowers versus this one, which just has, like, one giant flower. I really love the gold sheen that, that Micah gave it. Oh, it's so pretty. And the swirl that we got on the inside is actually really fun. Like, I feel like I need to do this more because it's it's different. It's really different from everything that I've done in the past. And I feel like it's very wispy. The smell on this is really good. Um, the fruity notes and then th with that, like, hint of floral, it's not, it's not like, bam, I'm a flower. But it's, it's, it kind of, like, anchors it and it's just, it's really nice. I'm not... A big floral person to be honest but this is I would definitely use this and use it again and that's it for simply succulents I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below like and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys next time bye